Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And if you are new here, please make sure to hit that like, hit that share, hit that subscribe and smash that notification. We got a little throwback here for you. Uh, this was back when Trump was still president about five years ago and him and Nancy Pelosi had to meet about, I believe it was about the wall and getting funding for it. So, uh, you could see how triggered Nancy gets by him. Let's get into it though. So the wall will get built, but we may not uh, we may not have an agreement today. We probably won't, uh, but we have an agreement on other things that are really good. Nancy, would you like to say something? She's probably so upset that he called on her. Well, thank you, Mr. President, for the opportunity to meet with you uh, so that we can work together. In a what a fake, evil hag. Partisan way uh, to meet the needs of the American people. I think you don't care about the American people. You just care about what time happy hour is. The American people recognize that we must keep government open, that a shutdown is not worth anything, and that you should not have a Trump shutdown. Uh, you have the material. Oh, oh, White House Did you Trump say Trump? Oh, oh. You, have <laughs> you have the Senate. <laughs> you see how she tried to word that and he caught her? Oh, a Trump shutdown. Okay. The House of Representatives. You have the votes. You should pass no, it. No, we don't have now. the votes, Nancy, because in the Senate we need 60 no, votes. No, no, but in the House. And we don't you have. You could bring it up right now. Yeah, but I did. can't, excuse me, but I can't get it passed in the House if it's not going to pass in the Senate. I don't want to waste time. Well, you, well that's, that's very true. Why waste time? Because that just wastes more taxpayers' dollars. See, she knows what she's doing. She knows exactly what she's doing. It is. You can get it started that way. The and House, we can get passed very easily. Okay, and we do. do. But do the it. problem is the Senate, because we need 10 Democrats to vote, yeah, and that's they not won't the vote. Point, Mr. President. The point is, is that there are equities to be weighed. And we're here to have a conversation Correct. in a prayerful way. So I don't think we should have a debate Correct. in front of the press on this. But the fact is, the, Senate, the House Republicans could bring... Why is Schumer sitting like a woman right now? up this bill if they had the votes immediately and set the tone for what you want. If we thought we were going to get it passed in the Senate, Nancy, we would do it immediately. We'd get it passed very easily in the House. No, that's we not would get it, Nancy, I'd have it passed in two seconds. It doesn't matter, though, because we can't get it passed in the Senate. Right. If you can't get something passed in the Senate, what's the even point of putting it in the House? There's no point in it at all. And because we need 10 Democrat votes. Uh, that's but it. Again, let us have our conversation, then that's we can right. meet with the press again. But the fact is, is that if legislating, which is what we do, right. you begin, you make your, your point, you state your case, that's what the House Republicans could do if they had the votes. But there are no votes in the House, a majority of votes, for a wall, no matter where that's you exactly start. exactly right. You don't have if I the needed house. the votes for the wall in the House, I would have them in one session, well, it would be do done. It. Go do it. Bro, this dude looks evil, bro. Like, that's crazy. Look how he's sitting, like, <laughs> Doesn't help because we need 10 Democrats in no, the don't Senate. don't put it on the Senate. Put it on, course, put it on the negotiation. Okay, let me ask you this. Just And we're doing this in a very friendly manner. It doesn't help for me to take a vote in the House where I will win easily with the Republicans. No. Yes. It doesn't help to take that vote. Right. It's just a waste of time, a waste of taxpayers' dollars. You could literally do something else with that. There's no point in it. And she doesn't. She just, she wants to waste that time and money and taxpayers' dollars. Because I'm not going to get the vote well, of the Senate. the Senate. I need 10 Senate. senators. That's Mr. the President, problem. You have the White House. You have the Senate. I have the you White have House. The, the House White House, House is done. And the House would give me the vote if I wanted it. <clears throat> but I can't because well, I need, can't. Nancy, I need 10 votes from Chuck. No, All right, let me President, say something let me, here. Let me just say one Go thing. Ahead. How does she not understand this? This is common sense. Fact is, you do not have the votes in the House. Nancy, I do. And we need well, border security. Vote, Nancy, we'll Nancy, we need border security. It's very simple. Of course we do. We need border security. People are pouring into our country, including terrorists. <clears throat> we have terrorists. We caught 10 terrorists over the last very short period of time. 10. These are very serious people. Our border agents, all of our law enforcement has been incredible what they've done. But we caught 10 terrorists. These are people that were looking to do harm. We need. None of these career politicians care about any of that. Trump's the only one that wanted to really do something about it. If anybody wanted to do something about it, we'd have built a wall 100 years ago, in all honesty. We need the wall. We need 
more important than anything, we need border security, of which the wall is just a piece. But it's important. Chuck, did you want to say something? Yeah, here's what I want to say. We have a lot of disagreements here. The Washington Post today gave you a whole lot of Pinocchios because they say you constantly misstate how much the wall is built, how much of the wall is built, and how much is there. But that's not the point here. We have a disagreement about the wall, the whether it's effective or whatever. Not on border security, but on the wall. We do not want to shut down the government. You have called 20 times to shut down the government. You say, I want to shut down the government. We don't. We want to come to an agreement. If we can't come to an agreement, we have solutions that will pass the House and Senate right now and will not shut down the government. And that's what we're urging you to do. Not threaten to shut down the government. No, I mean, listen, we needed that wall and we still need this wall to get finished. This is crazy that these people think like this. Because you, you let me just finish. Because you can't get the your last way. Time you shut it down, you yeah, let me say something, Mr. President. You just say my way or we'll shut down the government. We have a proposal that Democrats and Republicans will support to do a CR that will not shut down the government. We urge you to take it. And if it's not good border <clears throat> security, I it won't take it. It is very good border security. Right. That's what it's all about. We need secure borders. We have so much fentanyl pouring into our borders. We have all these criminals th pouring into our borders. It is getting out of hand. And not all of them are criminals, obviously, but there are some criminals mixed into there that are literally cartel uh, career criminals. And it's just ridiculous. And the fact that nobody wanted to do anything about it until Trump got in the office is just mind blowing to me. We should have started building the wall years and years before I was even born. We should have had a, a wall built. This is crazy to me. I don't understand why, like, why everybody like wants to say no. Is it because they want these illegal immigrants to come over and use them to vote Democrat every year? I don't understand it. It's not good border security. I won't take it. It's what the because when you look at these numbers of the effectiveness of our border security. And when you look at the job that we're doing you with You just said military, it is effective. Can I be, can I tell you something? Yeah, you just said Without it's effective. Without a wall, these are only areas where you have the walls. We want to do Where you have walls, Chuck, <clears throat> it's effective. We, where you don't have walls, it is not effective. Right, I mean, I don't people understand why people do not get this. The wall is needed. We should have been at this. Yeah. Let's call a halt to this. We've come in here, as the first branch of government. Article one, the legislature. Yeah, right. You just came from happy hour at the at the local pub down the street. Quit lying. Branch. We're coming in in good faith to negotiate with you about how we can keep the government open. The, the, the Why? So you can keep robbing the American people of their money? We're gonna keep it open American, if we have border security. American if we don't open. have border security, I'm, Chuck, I'm we're not gonna keep it open. Let me you. Check. We are gonna have border security. And it's the same border exactly. you're bragging about what has been done. We want to do the same thing we did last year, this year. That's our proposal. If it's good then, it's good now, and it won't shut down the government. Chuck, we can build a but much that's bigger let's, section let's with debate, more money. Let's debate in okay. private, okay. okay? Right. Well, you need the money to build the wall. This is common sense. But let's debate in private. Okay. Boy, frankly, a fact, and we we can. We need border that. security. I think we all agree that we need border security. Yes, is that we right? do. Good, we do. See, we get along. <laughs> <laughs> you say border security at the wall. Can you have border security without the wall? No, you need you need the wall. Security. The wall is a part you of border security. What it means to have the wall is a big component of border security. You can have as many people as you want out there. Look what's going on now without the wall. Security, yeah. yes. We need border security. The yes. wall is a part of border security. You can't have very good border security without the wall. That's no. Not true. Just that can't. is a political promise. Border security is a way to effectively honor our responsibility. And the experts say you can do border security without a wall, which is wasteful and doesn't solve the problem. It, it totally solves but the I, problem. It definitely helps out a lot. A lot more than these liars want to tell you. These people are demon rat liberals. That's all they are. This. I, and it's very important. This has spiraled downward when we came at a place to say, how do we meet the needs of the American people who have needs? The, the economy has, it's, uh, people are losing their jobs, the market's in a mood. Our members are already. Well, left we have the office. lowest unemployment that we've had in 50 years. <laughs> right, literally 50 years. We had, and people want to say, oh, COVID and this 
And that, like, Trump started COVID or something. We know where COVID started. It was China. People of, of the Republican Party have lost it, are losing their offices now because of the transition. There, people are not at the moment. We've gained in the Senate. A, Nancy, the we've gained in the Senate. Excuse me, now, did we win the Senate? Is we won the Senate. When the president brags that he won North Dakota and Indiana, he's in real trouble. When I, I did. Let me say And this dude is like. Gargamel. That's who he reminds me of. He reminds me of Gargamel. We did win North this, Dakota. This is and the India. most unfortunate thing. We came in here in good faith, uh, and 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 we're entering into a, a, this kind of a, a discussion in the public. View. But it's not bad, but, Nancy. Us, no, and, no, it's called it's, transparency. I, I know it's not transparency when we're not stipulating to a set of facts, and when we want to have a debate with you about saying we confront some of those facts. Without you know what? We need border security. That's what we're going to be talking about, border security. If we don't have border security, we'll shut down the government. This country needs border security. The wall is a part of border security. Right. It's a huge, like I said, it's, it's a very big component. I don't understand why people don't think it's a good idea. Let's have a talk. We're going to get the wall built, and we've done a lot of wall already. A big part of border security is the wall. It's a big section. It's a big part of it. Everything that you need. It's a big part of it. We need to. Have why do they try and ask him these questions when he's literally answering? He's saying it's a big part of it. Have effective border security. We need a wall in certain parts. No, not in all parts, <clears throat> but in certain parts of a two thousand mile border. We need a wall. How much money? Right. Uh, we are doing it much under budget. We're actually way under budget on the areas that we've renovated and areas that we've built. Uh, I would say if we got if we got five billion dollars, we could do a tremendous chunk of wall. <clears throat> now look how much money we're giving Ukraine. We literally could have built the wall with the amount of money we've given Ukraine. This is pathetic. Are you going to accept less, though, and are your guests... Well, we're going to see. We're going to see. Look, we have to have the... Well, this isn't a question. This is a national emergency. Drugs are pouring into our country. People with tremendous medical difficulty and medical problems are pouring in, and in many, in many cases, it's contagious. They're pouring into our country. We have to have border security. We have to have a wall as part of border security. And I don't think we really disagree so much. I also know that, you know, Nancy's in a situation where it's not easy for her to talk right now. And I understand that. And I fully understand that. We're going to have a good discussion and we're going to see what happens. But we have to have border security. Mr. President, please don't characterize the strength that I bring to this meeting. You don't bring any strength. You bring a pint of vodka and that's it. Or what is it, a fifth? A fifth of vodka. It's all you brought. As the leader of the House Democrats, who just won a big victory. Elections but have me, consequences, Mr. Just, President. Let me just say. That's right. And that's why the country is doing so well. But the president is representing in terms of his cards over there are not facts. We have to have an evidence-based conversation about what does work, what money has been spent, and how effective it is. This isn't about, this is about the security of our country, to take an oath to protect and defend. And we don't want to have that mischaracterized by anyone. And I agree are, with that. We are no, no, I agree with that. We are co-host. So let us have a conversation where we don't have to contradict in public. She just doesn't want to be look stupid on camera. That's all it is, like she is right now. That's literally all this is. But instead can have a conversation about what will really work and what the American people deserve from us at this uncertain time in their lives. The one thing I think we can agree on is we shouldn't shut down the government over a dispute. And you want to shut it down. You no, no, no. That's what's wrong. You guys just want to keep getting paid and keep getting all your colleagues paid and having all your donors happy. That's all it is. If Shut down the government. Shut down the government. Who cares? No, talking no, no, about no. the last time, Chuck, you shut it down. No, no, no. And then you opened 20 it up times, very quickly. And 20 times. I don't want to do what you did. 20 but, times Chuck, you have called for, I will shut down the government if I don't get my wool. None of us have you said You want to know something? You've said okay, it. Okay, you want to put that you on my said head. It. I'll take it. Okay, okay, good. You know what I'll say? Yes. If we... We needed to shut the government down. We don't get what we want, one way or the other, whether it's through you, through a military, through anything you want to call... I will shut down the government. Okay, absolutely. Fair enough. Absolutely. Love it. Like a man. Let him know like a man. No hide and nothing. Uh, and I'll we tell you disagree. what. I am proud to shut down the government for border security, Chuck, because the people of this country don't want criminals and people that have lots of problems 
and drugs pouring into our country. So I will take the mantle. I will be the one to shut it down. I'm not going to blame you for it. The last time you shut it down, it didn't work. I will take the mantle Good. of shutting down. And lovely. I'm going to shut it down for border But we security. believe you shouldn't okay. shut it down. Thank you very much, everybody. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Looking back on everything, everybody, in all honesty, right now, today, in 2023, this was five years ago, so that was 2018, Trump was absolutely correct. We needed the wall. We need border security. We got to stop the pores of illegal immigrants coming in by the truckloads. But, hey, I'm loving it that, to see that these people in Texas and I think Florida and stuff, that they're sending them to New York, to Chicago, because these people vote for it. So you have to give them what they vote for, you know? And honestly, this is this is the harsh reality. You vote for these things, you get what you get. So you have to show them that they get what they get. But uh, like I said, Trump was right. We we need border security. We need the wall. We need to stop the overflow of illegal immigrants coming in because this is just getting completely out of hand. I don't know. You guys let me know down below. Drop a comment. Also, make sure to hit that like, hit that share. Hit that subscribe and smash that notification. We'll see you guys later. Peace.